goes and guys welcome back to another monster gents monster review so in today's video we have the monster targon now targon is the newest mythic um i believe this monster will be in a breeding event i'm not 100 percent sure but if you guys want to confirm it go ahead and let me know in the comments and let others know as well so uh this is of course the newest mythic once again and i'm gonna go ahead and review this so if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button also drop a like as well so what i'm gonna do is quickly speed this up place it right there blah 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 this isn't the monster by the way it's just that i had to hatch it free up a spot so then i could um hatch the other monster right right here uh let me see crafting yeah all right 40 gems let's go ahead and hatch this that's not it either okay just letting you guys know um, I'm gonna quickly hash that in there and now we are ready. We are ready to do our thing. So this is Targon right here. Um, 9,000 cells. It was given to me by Social Point to review this monster for you guys. So uh, all the resources was provided by Social Point. Think, um, thanks to them. So here we go. 50 gems. And let's go on and hatch it. Here is what the egg looks like. Let's go ahead and speed that up, and we get one root slot open. It is a nature cosmic mythic monster. All right, let's take a look at the animations. This is his ultimate. Okay, sort of like an earthquake. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and start feeding this monster up. So before we actually do that, his evolving traits: tough at rank zero. Um, rank one, you have a block positive status effect removal. <laughs> This is actually a permanent trait. Um, and then you have the 50% damage mirror as a status caster. Anyways, let's go ahead and start feeding this monster. He actually reminds me of um, that one guy from Mario. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't actually, I don't know when was the last time I actually played Mario. Um, but I don't know its exact name. You guys can let me know in the comments if you know it. But he reminds me of that. All right, let's go ahead and quickly get it to level 100. All right, and now that it's at level 100, these are the stats, for those of you wondering. Um, before we actually get to the runes, let's check out the relics. So we have body armor as one of them. I'm going to go ahead and give um, Morgz armor for now, I guess. Actually, let me go with the... Because it's being used in war, so let me give him that. And then for shield, he can hold a shield, basically. So if you have, let's say, for example, Venus with nice shield, Tenacity, there are, there are lots of shields that you can choose from. Um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. Alright? It says, when the turn starts, if wearer's life is above 50% increases wearer's power. So it also increases, not just the armor. So it's pretty good. It's better than Tenacity. Um, cool, so we're set. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Unlock these two. And before we get into the runes... We have to change the skills, of course. So we have Ancient Assault as one of them deals massive nature damage to one enemy, applies double healing to itself, removes 25% of the life from himself. Okay, that's not good, but it's alright. Um, Impaling Shell applies a 50% damage mirror and life regen to itself. So you have the 50% damage mirror plus the life regen. Uh, here's the thing with that skill. You don't have to run this um, later on when you get this monster to ring 3. You can just switch it. Because you'll have the 50% damage when you're right in the beginning of the battle. All you're doing is applying the life regen, which I don't know why you want to do that. You also have this night draining skill that basically applies that. You know what I mean? But um, we have Eternal Whisper, which is... It doubles its maximum life and applies taunt. Cool. Alright, and then you have Calming Aura. Heals all allies by 30% applies a 50% damage here. I really like this skill, by the way. I actually do. Night draining, here's once again. If you want to switch Night Draining over Impaling Shell, it's, a, it's really up to you. Um, let me see. He already has... Hold on. Okay, so we already have a 50% damage mirror skill here. So, I suggest switching Night Draining, you know, with this. So then you'll have Life Regen in this skill. And the 50% damage mirror thing is right here, once you heal your allies. So... Go ahead and switch those. These are the skills that I recommend on this monster. So this monster is like a tank. That's his role. Um, here's what I recommend for the runes since he has one skill that does massive nature damage and also this one right here that does moderate nature damage to all enemies. Um, there goes one strength rune. Alright. And then you have 
basically himself, him being a tank, that's one life ring right there because he does have double healing. He's getting taunts, you know, double life and life regen. I mean, life regen is just normal. But basically these two, mainly th these two. Um, there goes a life rune, okay? So that's two. One strength, one life. Lastly, if you want to go with a speed rune, you can. You can also go with team speed. It's really up to you. So it's like a rainbow rune set. So here's what I'm going to do. So one level... Not, actually, before I do that, let me see. So once again, one strength, one life, right? And then lastly, either speed or team speed. It's really up to you. So I have these two, whichever one I want to go with. I guess I'll just go with the regular speed. Um, because I do want him to go in and apply that taunt. Uh, later on, the damage mirror and stuff, you know what I mean? And also uh, the double healing as well later on. So this is what I recommend for the rune sets. For those of you that are going to get this monster in, let's say you want to equip some runes. Those are the runes. These are the stats without the runes. And these are the stats with the runes. Alright, so with that being said, that's level 100. We're going to quickly take it to Adventure Map before we rank it up and stuff, right? And after we rank it up, we're going to go on and take it to PvP. Alright, so um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly get rid of these three monsters. So you need your Denier. You can use it whatever you want, honestly. Uh, then you need this monster. You can use them as a tank slash attacker slash support self-support mainly and also team support because of the taunts um and then you can have like a healer or something um or like a, another tank if you want i don't really want to go with another tank because um he does have the taunts mechanic so i'll just go with like a support like a virus or something okay so we got the setup let's go ahead and hit them with cda in the beginning and here's what we're gonna do so Vanos shield, right? The Vanos relic give me power, so boosted up my strength, and also it gave me shields here that's supporting me, right? I have the tough as a trait, so basically all status effects have a thirty percent less accuracy. Let's say they try to land their tortures and stuff. There's they have like seventy something percent chance. All right, so I can quickly OTK one of these nemesises with this scale right here, which basically applies double healing. But also, here's the down part. It removes 25% of total life. So, let's go ahead and showcase this. So, we do that. Zero life. Oh! Yeah, it's because I'm using Elvira. So, if you're gonna use Elvira in your team like this, right? When you... Ha like, it doesn't have to be Elvira, really. Um, if you could have a type of monster that could apply evasion to this guy, then that 25% life removal won't really work. It won't really land because of the evasion of course right so yeah that's interesting so the ignition landed armor kicked in again we're just gonna quickly hit one of them with cda you i'm gonna quickly cleanse that and give damage boost here then our shield kicked in again plus the um power there and the 50 percent damage boost from a virus skill here's what i can do i can go with the night training so basically what it does is that it deals moderate nature damage. You also get the life regen. Since I have double healing for two more turns, basically if I get hurt, uh, that healing will be doubled. Which I don't think they can hurt me because of the shield. I don't know how much damage they'll do. And they just went for a different monster instead of him. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, um, you could use your taunts mechanic as well like right in the beginning if you want to let me actually do that right now i'm gonna quickly charge up here uh we have the double life plus a taunt so let's quickly do that so now what's his life 300k his life is 300k unfortunately they cleansed my taunt so yeah that's a down part it can be cleansed it's not like i don't know Somehow it gives you a permanent trait, which I don't think any monster in the game has that type of skill. But, um, yeah, the monster... Um, here's the thing. Here are some downsides of this monster. He does have one skill that... No, wait, he has two skills. Zero cooldown. But I don't know if you really want to run it. You could probably run this if you want to. But it requires 22 stamina, so let's say they remove all your stamina. Can't really do anything. But if you have the stamina... 
but you got hit with TDA, you can use a skill. Um, same with this, but I don't really recommend this one though. I really don't. Um, so CDA monsters, you can't really, you can sort of deal with them, only with like two skills. Uh, another thing is, um, oh yeah, his skills, like these positive status effects things, they can actually be cleansed. They can be cleansed. Um, at rank 1, you have the blocks, other status effects removal. So, that's really good right there. This right here, that's good. Let me quickly get it to rank 1. So, if you could get this monster to rank 1, you'll be really, really, really good at rank 1. Other than that, um, in other ranks, I don't know. So these right here are the stats at rank 1. Um, once again, Blood Positive Status Effect Removal uh, has a trait at rank 1. So let's go ahead and test that out again um, on Adventure Map. So we're going to apply the taunts and stuff. And if they try to cleanse it, well, it can't really be cleansed because it's a trait. We go ahead and fight. And what I'm going to do is hit them with TDA again. Right off the bat, what I'm going to do is apply the double life and taunt. So now he has taunt and double life for basically... The double life is three turns, but the taunt is for about two or one turn. One or two turns. Alright. See? Look at that. He tried cleansing that. It didn't work. You guys saw that? He tried cleansing my... Um, my taunt and my double life. And it didn't really work. You can just do this. Fortunately, it removes some life. But hey, if you have that double life going on, right? The 25% life removal won't really hurt you that much. Plus, if you're gonna go with like a rainbow reset or something, then you'll be fine. Let's go with this. Um, and also, if you're gonna run like a virus on your team, I don't know if anybody's going to. But if you are, it works out pretty good in the beginning, especially. So look, once again, he tried cleansing, but it didn't work. Now, you know what would have been a lot more OP here? You know, um, if this monster had Megatons mechanic. That would be a lot more broken, in my opinion. Alright. So this right here heals everybody. And applies 50% damage here to itself. So you can quickly do that. Unfortunately, it does not cleanse. If it cleansed, that would have been really, really good, but it doesn't. So take a look at it. I have the damage mirror for one more turn. What I could do is apply the double life and taunt. And basically, if they hit any single targets, I basically reflect 50% of the damage back. So that missed. I wish it actually did some damage. Ignite flash, 35k. Out of 35k, 17k. There we go. All right. So... Yeah, the monster is decent. Nothing too crazy. Um, if we do see a Megaton in the future with like the type of trait that he has right now, that would be a lot more broken, to be honest. Um, same with like maybe Dodge Area Mythics with that type of trait. That would be very, very broken in my opinion. Um, anyways, let's quickly get it to rank 3. So first we gotta get it to rank 2 of course. Here we go, let's go ahead and feed. This is 120. For those of you that are going to get it to 120, gotta watch it. Alright, here. These are the stats. And then these are the stats with the runes included. Now at rank 3, this is when you unlock the damage mirror. Um, the status caster damage mirror. So this can't be cleansed because you have the trait. Um, and yeah, once again, if they try to cleanse it, it won't really work. You'll have that permanently. These are the stats, and these are the stats with the rings included. Alright, so rank 3, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are just going to get it to rank 3, and that's it. Or maybe if you're going to get it to more, more than rank 3, you can. So I wanted to change my team around a bit before I get into another match. Um, I went with this basically here. So I have the team support, and then I have, of course, Lindworm. Many players have Lindworm, so I thought, why not use this? Alright. Oh, that's not good. Is this a level 10? Oh, no. Okay, actually, I'll be fine. I guess change transfers to this monster. Remove positives here. Um, and then what I can do is go with the double life plus taunt. So here's the thing. 
I'm gonna have the taunts plus uh, the double life. And when this monster attacks, 50% of the damage will reflect back. Um, and depends. If it's a single target, it'll do even more damage. You know? Go and charge up. See? Oh, of course, evasion. Evasion. I didn't think about that. It's alright. It's alright. So, we'll just charge up here. And here, you could just attack if you want to. You could go with the night draining skill. Um, you could, let's say if you're teammates need heal right you can go ahead and apply the 30 percent heal and plus the 50 percent damage mirror to yourself again um but i don't really recommend using that till like two day two turns later so then you could reapply that because after two turns it'll just be gone and you could just apply it again so we'll do that 25 percent of life is removed unfortunately but it's okay it's not really that much especially when i have the double life going on we're just gonna charge up here. Um, I could heal here. Why not? Let's do it. Fire Meteor. Unfortunately, I did not have my damage mirror right there, so I couldn't reflect the damage back. But, uh, we could apply the life regen real quick. And that'll actually be very good because of the double healing here. So if I, let's say, apply that life regen. Take a look at this one second. So I'm gonna... This monster has about how much... I can't see the HP. It's like 381k. I'm gonna charge up. You healed. I just healed myself by like 100k or something. Because of the double life. Um, I could regain that taunt real quick plus a double life. Charge up. I could use my ultimate here or I could just quickly turn transfer here. And cleanse everything. Charge up. I healed up and now I'm back to maximum life. And I still have the... I still have, what's it called? The double healing going on there. So, I could heal my teammate by 30% and apply the damage mirror here. And then next turn I could get the taunt. To do that real quick. And basically throughout the battle, you, your teammates could... Your allies, right? They could, for example, hit them with CDA, they could attack if you're using another attacker in your team just in case. Um, for example, Linworm could have ulted and by now it would have been done, it would have been over. Um, Linworm could have also went with Age, Age Overseer and stuff. The reason why I wasn't doing it was because I don't want to really win the battle um, because it won't be fair for me to win it. So I'm just trying to be careful there, alright? So anyways, rank 4. This right here is rank 4 for anybody that's going to get it to rank 4. Here is at the stats. Okay, here are the stats at rank 4. This is what you get, and this is what you get with the runes on all together. And finally, rank 5. Where does it be that? We're waiting for rank 5. Here you go. 25 gems. And let's go. Let's get to feeding. Targon, rank 5. Just like that. So these are the stats with the runes on, and these are the stats without the runes. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and test it bad boy. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna run a different monster here. Let's run an attacker in our team. Let's run Hardy or something. So... Yeah, so I don't really have to rely on him to be my attacker. So we have an extra attacker. 130 vows, holy cow. Alright, so we're gonna have to quickly get rid of that Megaton. We don't really get rid of it, we're just gonna turn it into a baby so then we could freely attack the other two. Targon went, um, I could, holy cow. I mean, this is a rank 5, right? Rank 5 Targon, this is a rank 3. But still, this massive nature damage does so much to this Venus 2099. Let's see how much damage it actually does. Slow it down. That is 235k. 235k. And then 25% removed from myself. I could go with this, for example. We're gonna come back. Does Shelly have one? Let's see. Shelly has your last one. Okay, cool. Turn transfer back to him. So look, I have a uh, damage here. I think it's gonna run out though. 
Yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna run out, but I could apply the double life and taunt. I think this monster is just going to resurrect, so I don't really have to worry about him. Um, I could just go with that or this. I'll go with this. Yep, you're gonna do that. And I'm gonna keep Vanos alive so he could do some damage to me. I'm gonna charge up here. Charge up again. Unfortunately, I do not have my taunts. Oh, I do have my taunts already running. What the heck? I'm gonna apply the 50% damage mirror then. So, go ahead and do your worst, Vanos. Crash, 87k, 70k reflected back. You guys saw that. That's really good. I could go ahead and turn you back into a baby. You want with that skill? I could quickly get rid of Vanos again. I could get rid of both of them. Just like that. So no more resurrection for you. How's that? Turn transfer. Well, I didn't really have to turn transfer here. It's alright. Let's just go with a taunt and double life. Um, I could heal myself or my teammate for 43k. Arch up. You want the Megatons and all, blah blah blah, it's alright. Yeah, we're just gonna have to let that go off. So I'm gonna put it on 4x speed. Go ahead. We need that shield and everything gone. Okay, shield's still here, but it's alright. So hit him with the massive skill. That removed 100k from me, but it's okay. Turn transfer back, and I could heal myself again, plus the 50% damage mirror. There. And then I could quickly get rid of him, for example. Bam. And then he's going to come back with your last son. Alright. So, let's go ahead and leave this match. But, um, my opinion about this monster. Overall, I'd probably say that he's decent. Trait-wise, I think that's good. It's nothing too OP. Um, because the monster skills aren't really too crazy. Let's say if this was a Megaton, then, you know, it would have been something else. Um, but he is a tank. He just has taunts. That's all he can do. Like mainly just taunt. No mega taunt. Uh, but once again, if it was mega taunt, then that would have been a whole different story. Um, and don't get me started with like dodge area mythics and stuff. But anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster review. Thanks again to Social Point for giving me all the resources and everything that was needed to review this monster for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.